Welcome ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another BT Nathal video. Today we're going to be talking about hotkeys in Project Diablo 2. First of all, I may miss a couple or there may be more that like come out that I'm not aware of yet. But as far as like my current knowledge, I'm going to be just quickly going over each one and what they do. You know, obviously there's the, the hotkey screen and configure controls, right? And you can take a look at all these things. That's not exactly what I'm going to be talking about. I'm mostly talking about the quality of life changes that have been brought to Project Diablo 2. First of all, you can have an item, right? This is just a single player, like, hero edited character. And you can have an item and you can shift right click to put an item from your inventory over to the stash. And then you can do the same thing over from your stash over to your inventory. Now, if you want to put something in your cube, you can hold shift and control. So I say I want to put this in my cube, I'm holding shift and control right now, and then I right click, this goes into my cube. Now, if I want to drop something on the ground through any of these screens, I can hold control and then right click. As you can see, token of absolution dropped on the ground. More tokens of absolution dropped on the ground. Charm dropped on the ground. If it's in the cube, dropped book on the ground, right? So that's just um, an example of some of the hotkeys. Those are like very, very helpful too. Like save a lot of time and they're just great quality of life changes. Now some of the other hotkeys that like I get asked a lot are like you know you have the normal character screen but like something i get asked a lot is how do you view this and this is an advanced character screen that you can view when you press number eight on your keyboard and that will show up and now if it's you can actually change these hotkeys using the using this so if i want to change this to seven i can left click this and i can change it to seven left click that change it to eight there's also a resync button and when you're desynced like say uh in game the server thinks i'm actually standing over here but like on screen i'm standing right here right i can press nine on the server and my screen will flash but i'll end up back over here and it'll resync me with the server now because this is a single player it's not actually really going to work so but that is something you can do online now you can also check a player's gear. This can also work on actually like Valkyries. And how I'm opening this menu, by the way, just in case you're not sure, uh, you right click to close this, but you control left click to open up the settings. You can move it around. You can actually even, I believe, like leave it around. And then, uh, you know, it'll, it'll be kind of partially see-through, but like you have all these options here. You have like the interactions, it tells you uh, different things and we'll actually get into this in a second here. I actually wasn't fully aware of this page to be honest. So something cool that's in Project Diablo 2, if you have an ID tome in your inventory, you can actually hold left shift or hold shift and left click all the ID unID'd items in your inventory. So if I had like an unID'd charm, I can go hold shift and left click. Unfortunately, I don't have any like things that are unID'd right now. But um, you can just do that over and over as long as you have a quantity here in your ID tome. It doesn't work if there's just scrolls, it's only for ID tomes. Something else that's pretty cool is, so we saw this character sheet, right? But if you open up your mercenary screen and then you press 8, it'll show the name mercenary, right? And this actually displays your mercenary stats. So like, if I take this, it's a little bit awkward to look at right now because like every time I press eight, it's hard to view like the items there. But like, you know, for example, you can see the Merc stats, five to nine, two hand damage, and then you got attack rating. Yeah, basically you can also view your mercenaries uh, gear and advanced stats, which is pretty cool. Um, like I said earlier, you can also view a Valkyrie if you hover with on summon. Um, I'm wondering, yeah, I guess that doesn't work there, but 
Um, but with unsummon, you can hover a Valkyrie and that will show up. Another thing that people ask me quite often is how do you get the XP displayed down here? Uh, there's like a f percentage on how close or how much you are into this level. There's how much you got um, towards this level during the current game and how much XP you're getting per second since you've joined the game. And I press numpad 7 and that'll add or remove that. Numpad 7 does that. Also, if you're trying to reload a filter, uh, like say you're using an item filter or whatever, like I am, like see how it says TP and not Tomo Town Portal. So like I'm using item filter right now. And if you want to reload that, you can press zero on the numpad and it reloads it. So if you're trying to make edits or look at maybe some changes you want to make, you can do that. So hope you guys enjoyed that video and hopefully you found that helpful. Um, much love everybody. I will see you guys in the next video.